Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you color grading for the portrait photography. So we made another video about this and uh, some of my fans requested me to make more videos like this. That's why I'm making that video. So this one is our stock image. I'll provide the stock download link in my video description. Please check it out and downloaded this one from freepick.com. Press Ctrl or Command J and you are getting the layer which is really good and at first i will make it dodge and burn then i will make it the color grading so i have to make another copy so another is uh, the shadow uh, highlight and another is shadow so i am making this on upper side or you can make it vice versa that's not an issue so highlight and shadow so this highlight at first going to the blending options just because of uh, i want to make it the highlight and uh, for that i'll make it the blending mode into screen and right press and blending options from here you are getting the uh, slider over there the underlining layer from the blending options from here and when we are using the highlight we will work with the shadow here and press the alter option button the slider will divide and adjust the light with that that's cool and hit okay so now make it mask and after masking that go to the image and apply image and don't touch anything the setup will be like that uh, rgb multiply and other steps and hit ok so this is the natural one and now shadow portion i'll make this one into multiply the blending mode and after that right press and blending options from here you'll find out the slider again and now we'll work with the highlight or like a white slider press alter option button accordingly and adjust the shadow with the face that's fine and hit ok and now make it mask after masking that go to the image and apply image from here make it invert just because of the shadow is vice versa or invert or like opposite of the highlight that's why so selecting these two things making it group and giving the name uh, d and b that means dodge and burn and now mask it out again going to the image and apply image and after that invert option just uh, like uncheck invert option and hit ok now you are getting the before and after one which is really cool uh, you can make copy of this one by pressing ctrl or ctrl j and selecting these two things making it group now making it convert to smart object i made this one convert to smart object just because of i if i need this edit uh, future in future i can use the smart object icon and you can uh, easily edit the uh, settings in future so after that going to the filter and camera filter here the uh, camera filter is uh, another plugins of the photoshop and this is similar to the lightroom if you want to get the download link please check out my video description and from here uh, in a basic panel you are getting the color adjustment tools and if i adjust the color yeah this is the real color the before one and after one you are getting the real color over here and now I'll make the highlight a little bit down and the exposure a little bit down and contrast a little bit up and then the shadow I'll make the shadow like this that's fine and the white a little bit up and blacks a little bit up from here texture I'll make the texture a little bit down uh, actually a little bit up three or five and the clarity like that and now dehaze option if you make it hazy it will be foggy and if you make it dehaze it will be clear uh the four or five is good for me the vibrance that is a little bit down 12 or 10 is good for me 12 or 13 and the suggestion a little bit up that's fine now basic done uh, before and after and now going to the detailing options adding some sharpening and noise reduction and color noise reduction you know two types of noise uh, in this uh, phase of picture uh, one is black and white another one is color so i just reduced two things 12 and 24 that is the cool and color mixture hue saturation luminance and now from the hue i will only change the blue uh, from here suppose i if i change the blue like that it will be nice that's cool and the purple so i'll make it like this and the aqua as well so i'm making it not too much okay fine saturation all the steps is good if we need you can add some red for the leaves purpose and the like uh, makeup purpose luminance little bit up that's fine let's see before and after 
ordinary image to extraordinary image so now color grading most important things here the shadow color highlight color and the uh, mid-tone color so shadow the darker portion those are the shadow mid-tone the uh, non-darker but a little bit dim from the light that is and the shadow and highlight is the highlighted area so which color will be in three portion that is defined with the color grading at first highlight so in highlight portion i have to find out the color so that is nice for me and the saturation thin that's good saturation percentage of the color how percentage will be when i am using air color and the mid tone what will be color in mid tone so i want to keep the mid tone little bit like this so yeah 19 and the saturation 10 is good and now time to add the shadow color so shadow color i will use the shadow color totally into different size or different types so before and after now the 10 for the color and the saturation before and after that's good from here calibration three primary colors uh, red primary when i using this one red primary and saturation a little bit up yeah that's cool here is the green primary and here is a blue primary so i want to make this one like that saturation like that i'm feeling that here i need to add some cool tone a little bit that's fine the before and after you are getting totally different type image from here i'm saving these settings and i'll provide you the download link of these settings saving this up uh, that is the name okay and hit the okay button so totally different before and after and now uh, suppose you want to use this exemplifier or settings in your photographs how to do that so at first i have to save and saving this and suppose a uh, different type of photo it could be like this uh, totally different type suppose this photo press ctrl or command j going to the filter and camera filter and from here going to the load settings options and this preset portrait i'll just up so you are getting totally different looks if you need to change up in your or adjust your according to your light you can change the temperature and you can change up the vibrance from here and you can change up the color grading from here suppose i want to give the shadow color changing so it will be different from this and the this portion so you can easily do that so this one is the technique to use the uh, preset before and after that is the really technique to use a preset and uh, uh, hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please to comment on my video comment section stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well i'm asmi signing out today Bye bye